the Opera Red Browser just announced it will support Ethereum. Metamask will support Nano Ledger. This is the newsletter of In the Blocks. I am Julian, your host, and this newsletter is for Ethereum developers to follow up on what are the latest news and tutorials for Ethereum development. If you want to receive my weekly newsletter, make sure to subscribe at this URL. Last week, I just released the latest step in the to-do list Ethereum DApp tutorial. So in this step, what we will do is to create some smart contract data from the front end. User will be able to create a task on the web front end, and the task will also be created on the back end smart contract. The article is at this URL, and there is also the code on GitHub. Next, we have a very good e-commerce DAP example. So that's an advanced example of what you can do with a DAP, and the code is available on GitHub. And it's built with a Truffle, and there is the backend and the frontend. Next, there is a new tool which is called Securify that is been financed by the Ethereum Foundation and this is a security scanner for Ethereum smart contract. So it's a little bit similar to another tool called Mithril. So if you are a Solidity developer, you might, you might have heard of, of Mithril. So Securify is, uh, is meant to be uh, in the same category as tool. Next, there is a Solidity documentation generator that has been released. So you'll find also the code on GitHub, it's called Solidoc. Next, Truffle just announced its latest beta. One of the new features is an improved help system. Also, now Truffle will generate unique mnemonics instead of just using always the same one. Next, there is a new EIP which is coming, which is called EIP712. And this EIP is very interesting because it will basically allow users to uh, have better confirmation message on MetaMask. So currently, the problem with MetaMask is that uh, users usually have to confirm messages that are very difficult to understand, like message in hexadecimal. So for example, you have uh, the example they give in the article is a decentralized exchange that want to uh, prompt the user to confirm an order, but the order is described with this uh, long X string, and so it's, it's very difficult for the user to understand what it means. So this EIP proposed a new format to communicate with MetaMask where users will be able to uh, see a, a JSON and they'll be able to confirm it or cancel it. So that's very good for usability of dApps. Next, MetaMask announced that it will support the Nano Ledger wallet. So now dApps will be able to prompt the user with MetaMask to send transaction. And if you have your Nano Ledger connected to, to your computer and MetaMask, then you'll, the user will be able to confirm the transaction on the, the Nano Ledger directly. And that's very convenient because before that, what user had to do is to first they had to send some money from the Nano to the MetaMask address and then to confirm the transaction on MetaMask. So it removed one step and it improved user uh, adapt usability a lot. Next, the Zero X protocol announced that they will launch their version 2.0 of, uh, of their protocol. So if you're not familiar with Zero X, it's basically the most familiar protocol for uh, trading tokens on Ethereum. And they, they have a standard and everybody can implement a standard and implement uh, his or her own uh, DEX based on that. Next, uh, I think what is the most interesting news of this newsletter is the announcements of the Opera web browser that you will enable Ethereum support. What it means exactly. So Opera is one of the, of the least famous web browsers, so you might not be familiar with it, uh, but it's still a very uh, fully functional web browser and it will soon feature a wallet to send not only uh, Ether, but also ERC20 token. So an easy way to describe this, it's as if they've sort of integrated MetaMask in their browser. And so, so in terms of usability, you can expect something better than MetaMask and much more fluid as what we have now with MetaMask. So I'm really, really curious to see how it works, and absolutely, I finally want to test this with some dApps to see how it feels uh, as a user. And if the if this is popular and if this works, 
we might see other vendor of web browser also implementing this feature. So we might dream and think that one day Firefox and even Google Chrome would implement this feature. And when they will do, it will really help to uh, increase the adoption and the usage of dApps a lot. Next, all the video of F this are available. So at this was an industry uh, summit for Ethereum that took place in uh, Hong Kong about one week ago. And, uh, and all their video of the talk have been released. Uh, there is in particular one of this video which is called kind of the, the feature of decentralized exchanges that I find pretty interesting. Uh, as you can see, they have very little view because nobody knows about these videos, but uh, it's a shame because they're really good. So you guys check it out. Alright, that was it for today, guys. If you haven't subscribed to this newsletter, make sure you head over to the website of Eat the Blocks and subscribe. Like this video, share, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.